every great war has its heroes. I'm just curious what kind you'll be. As of this moment, I declare the Inquisition reborn. Okay, what's happening all? Welcome back. Nice to see you. Thank you for stopping by, checking out a little more Dragon Age Inquisition. Uh, this episode in particular, well, I'm about to just head right back towards the War Room. We're going to get going here soon, back into a little bit of action. Or what I'm thinking I'm going to do is uh, we have, well, you can see there are several locations up now. The Hinterlands Haven, clearly where we are. We've been to the Hinterlands. I have made mention of the Storm Coast We've got the Fallow Mire, that's the swampy area. The Forbidden Oasis, never been there. Um, the Inner Circle here, now this is... Uh, the uh, missions listed here involve uh, building a team. An Inquisition is nothing without an inner circle of power brokers and battle masters. Recruiting talent and strengthening ties with them is all but essential to succeed. That's another thing I've kind of neglected here early on, but there will be plenty of time, um, and when I say I've neglect, what, what I'm referring to when I say I've neglected is actually going out and talking to the members of the Inquisition that are around Haven, you know? I'll spend a little bit more time doing that in the future, uh, try and get a conversation in when we're back here, at least uh, often enough, hopefully with each stop, at least talk to one, um, just to forge relationships. That's a big part of the gameplay here um, in, in, in uh, the Dragon Dragon Age series, you know. Okay, so I'm going to go with this. We're going to kick things off, and I think who I want, the Lone Warden. This is uh, Blackwall, uh, the Imperial Enchanter. I believe this is uh, um, Vivian de Fair, yes, right? The Lone Warden, one of Liliana's agents. Now, he's back at the Hinterlands. The Imperial Enchanter, I'm not sure where she is. Um, she could be in that other location that I've never been to. The captain of the Chargers, this is, uh, Iron Bull. Uh, Canary Warrior, known as the Iron Bull, is offering aid for the Inquisition from his mercenary company, the Bull's Chargers. Meet with him at the Storm Coast. In fact, I think that's probably where I'm going to go. At least recruit him, and maybe we'll do a little exploration of the Storm Coast while I'm at it. There could be, uh, let's see what's drawing us there. Um, Vigilance on the Coast is the initial mission. There are reports of a small group of Grey Wardens traveling along the northern coast of Ferelden in an area known as the Storm Coast. Uh, go to the war table to skip the Storm Coast. Yes, need four power. I've got it. Um, this is, now this kind of, this kind of goes hand in hand. I mean, I know Liliana was basically directing us towards Blackwall. Potential, she had... Rumors. She had heard rumors that there was a a lone gray warden in, in the hinterlands. Now they are apparently missing. So you know we have good reason to head that way. And between episodes, I spent the last of my elf root uh, just building, crafting a few more regeneration potions. Okay, I think I'm ready to set off. I don't think there's anything else I need to do. Let's just uh, hop in here. I would. I think all work that I had active on the table is now complete, and so I'll be able to send off the council, send the council off to do a little more, earn me a little more money. I also noticed between episodes I had the Inquisition perk available. Now, let's see here. Where? Are, here we go. Lord Barond. <laughs> yeah, Lord Baron of Ferelden has pledged his sword and those of his forces to the Inquisition. The addition of these soldiers bolsters the Inquisition's forces, reduces by 5% the time it takes for Cullen to complete operations. That's uh, a nice little bonus, so you can see the uh, the purpose behind these agents. In fact, that could be just a constant. Let's see here. We'll go and see if Witty Ritz is here now. Reduces by 5% the time it takes for Liliana to complete operations. Okay. Alright, now I do have that one perk. What do I want to spend it on? Hmm... Grants a significant increase to the discovery range of the searching action. Not really. I don't really care about that. Gain a collection of tier 1 herbs. That could be good. Since I'm really hurting. Really hurting uh, for the elf root right now. Let's see here. Underworld knowledge. Detailed study of underworld customs and their brutal but practical applications. Opens up uh, new dialogue options related to criminal activities. 
Grants 50% XP for each codex. Hmm. Uh, this one grants a 5% increase in XP earned from killing foes. I think to get something like this early on is how I'm gonna, how it's going to pay off in the end. So I think that's probably the right choice here. Or, well, it may not be the right choice, but it's the one I'm going with. You can see there are a lot of perks here. Good lord. All right. Uh, where am I going here? Storm Coast. But uh, I do have some work that uh, needs to be taken care of. Some reports need to come in. And some new work needs to be assigned. What do we get there? 78. Not really much. But it'll do. All right. Here we go. This was uh, kind of questionable. Uh, address a nobleman's concerns. This guy was nothing more than a tyrant. Ambassador Montillet. Uh, so the requisition is a hollow prank. A jest to swindle the righteous. This is clearly from him. The tide of apostates and demons swells on my doorstep as you do nothing. My death will be on your head in the heads of all the other charlatans of the Inquisition. And it will leave a stain so dark that the maker himself could not remove it. Lo yours truly, Lord Kildard. Well, clearly we're not on speaking terms with this man any longer yes at least he won't be bothering me to go and strong arm some refugees any 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 further you know um okay the uh, build the watchtowers report is ready uh commander cullen with the watchtowers built we've had advance warning of demon and bandit attacks the area is safer for both the refugees and the farmers who had fled the nearby fields much appreciated sir it's good to know that the inquisition is willing to put in the time to help these people from corporal vale so clearly he oversaw the construction. That's good. We can now return to Master Horsemaster Dennett confident uh, that uh, we should be able to uh, receive our horses as payment. Okay, you can see there's some stuff coming from Red Jenny. Um, Sarah does make mention that uh, she uses Red Jenny. Red Jenny kind of like this, uh, I don't know, this shadowy organization of kind of punky, uh, you know, um, I, I don't know, freedom fighters. I don't know how you describe them exactly. But, uh, yeah, they're just a, a kind of a band of misfits, I guess, you know. Uh, and they have, uh, brings in specific missions as well. Okay. They've got the bog unicorn down there. The Cult of Andraste. Let's look into this here. What do we have? Before the fifth blight and the arrival of the hero of Ferelden, Haven was occupied by cultists who worshipped a dragon. One they believed to be Andraste reborn. Both the cultists and their dragon were long were long gone by the time the Chantry arrived to build the Temple of Sacred Ashes, but there may still be undiscovered passages in the mountains containing their relics. With a concerted search effort, it might be possible to unearth something useful for the Inquisition. Okay, it seems like Liliana would probably be best here. 11.15, let's see. Josephine will not participate in this. And uh, Cullen will, but it doesn't seem... Uh, Let's see, I'm leery of what we might find in these passages, but we have enough soldiers for a search. They will simply need to be careful. Liliana, this is a task best left to a few select agents knowledgeable regarding dangerous magic. I have just the ones in mind. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's She's, see what we have. It seems to fit her best. Okay. Uh, I could go out gathering coin again. Now, I could bring in the bog unicorn. I don't really care for it, though. I've had this creature before. I didn't really like the look of it. Um, and <laughs> the Inquisition has need, and we would provide. We have in our position a mount of noble spirit fallen in battle against rage, returned to life by the boundless urge to run and serve a worthy cause and noble master. Prove what your followers already believe, that your reach is beyond this realm, that even the forces of the Fae are your ally, that death is no barrier to victory from the collective. Um, I think perhaps uh, having Cullen ensure the, the creature arrives safely. Let's do it. All right. Yeah, okay, we've got it. It's stabled, and that should free Cullen up, you know. I guess I get him, uh, get to use him immediately here. Let's uh, back out here. Let's head over to the Orle side, see what's over here. Flames of the Inquisition Charger. Hmm. We would send our best, uh, let's see here, the attention of the finest armors in the land, and they would not see our message conveyed unadorned. They offer a mount that reflects the flames of the Inquisition. It is, by all accounts, magnificent. Okay. 
Well, you know what? I just brought in a mount. I'm not going to bring in another one just like that, you know. Um, let's see here. The Chantry remains. The confrontation with Mother Navarra in the Val Royale, or sorry, the Val Royale market has the desired effect, or had it, to a point. Uh, the Chantry's condemnation of the Inquisition was lost amid a flurry of speculation over the actions of Lord Seeker Lucius, as well as a divide in the opinions of the remaining Chantry clerics. There are, however, clerics still loudly denouncing the Herald of Andraste. The Inquisition could leave them to their speeches, but to dealing with them before the Chantry elects a new divide could be a benefit. Okay. I think this would be, uh, well, we could bring Cullen in. You know, we should send a contingent of Inquisition soldiers to the Grand Cathedral. They can offer protection, and their visibility will remind the clerics they are not out of our reach. That could be good. Kind of like a, a bit of a threat, but also, also a bit of a, you know, a little protection. Let's see, Josephine seems best suited for her. A delicate hand is needed here. We should focus on clerics who can be swayed, make their voices louder than those who oppose us. I like the sound of that. Let Let's us begin. Okay. Uh, one more, people, and we will be off. Um, let's just see here. What is this exactly? Contact with the Valocas mercenaries. Adar, I heard you were dead, and then a prisoner, and then maybe you fell out of the fade and landed on your head and forgot who you were. Seriously, stop that. We still haven't been paid. Some of our kith made it out of that giant shithole full of demons after the explosion. The rest are dead or missing. I don't know how many were rounded up by angry humans. If you're not dead and you remember who you are, help me find our brothers and sisters. From Shokrakar. P.S. If you forgot who you are, I'll remind you. Your name is Adar. You're a Vashoth. You didn't get paid for being blown up. P.P.S. <laughs> if you are dead, disregard this message. That's funny. I like that. All right, Cullen, uh, we can send a patrol to find the scattered Talvishoth Talvish mercenaries in the wilderness. I don't know what the point of this is exactly. Just trying to make contact with them. I guess we'll go in and force, you know. Ah, it sounds like right. a good idea. Let's do it. I guess we're, uh, you know, spreading our reach, trying to find people who will uh, get behind the cause. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, this is the, uh, the mercenary group that... Uh, that Herza was uh, was a, was a part of, you know, prior to becoming Herald of Andraste. I think I'm not sure though. Okay, what are we gonna do? Well, um, I think it's gonna be the Storm Coast, right? Let's do it. Ferelden has not seen significant Grey Warden activity since Darkspawn attacked the city of Amaranthine ten years ago. It's not unusual for their order to fade from public notice when there's no blight. However, recent reports claim that a group was traveling along the northern coastline. Wardens tend to follow their own agenda, but the breach has no doubt caught their attention. If they know something, then the Inquisition should find out. All right. Um, Sister Liliana, Lieutenant Harding led a small complement of soldiers to the Storm Coast region, uh, investigating reports of Grey Warden activity. She sent word that her party had established a camp near the shore, but we have received nothing further. At this time, the status of Harding and her mission remains unknown from Rector. So the area is now unlocked. We can push forward, and uh, I would like to gather my party and venture the Storm Coast now, uh, as I'm going there basically to uh, also hopefully meet up with Iron Bull and, and help build this team. My inner circle. I think what I'll leave, I'll leave Sarah alone for now. I think I'm going to stick with uh, what I'm familiar with. I will get to Sarah in time. I'd like to get some proper... I'd like to get her outfitted properly is really what I want. Um, so I'll go with, uh, well, the usual. The usual quartet, yeah. Your worship, for what it's worth, welcome to the Storm Coast. I would have sent word sooner, but our efforts have been delayed how so there's a group of bandits operating in the area they know the terrain and our small party has had trouble going up against them some of our soldiers went to speak with their leader haven't heard back though 
Clearly, Harding has lost her arms in this in this exchange, in this mission. Oh my god. Head back to Haven at once, my dear. Get your arms reattached. Did you save them? Yes. <laughs> what is happening? Where are her arms? Are they folded behind her back? I hope so. I hope so. Anyway. Um, uh, thanks for the report, Harding. Thank you. Thanks for the report, Harding. <laughs> of course. The soldiers didn't have an exact location for the bandits, but they were starting their search farther down the beach. With all this fuss, we haven't been able to conduct a proper search for the wardens either. Well, good luck. And enjoy the sea air. I hear it's good for the soul. There we go. Okay. Was, has she been shackled? What happened to her exactly? Anyway, here we are. Storm Coast. Okay, so we are looking. Well, there's going to be lots popping up. You know, it's going to be the usual closing rifts and... What was that? Oh! Oh, we got dragons. We've got dragons about. Good lord. Okay. First things first, let's head into the journal. Um, both the Inner Circle and the Storm Coast are going to have missions I'm looking for. Let's see what we have here now. Cleaning house. Um, advance to the rendezvous point. The Inquisition lost contact with its soldiers before their planned rendezvous with the bandits. Okay, so we've lost we've lost contact with our soldiers. Okay, that's not good. Rifts on the coast, holding the storm close will be camps. That's closing rifts, and we're still trying to track down, or we're we're looking into rumors that there were wardens in the area. Um, the other thing is uh, the inner circle. So let's actually I know where this is, and uh, let's get this let's get this rolling first. The captain of the chargers. I don't want to neglect the fact that I've got troops missing or that are have been that have not reported in, but uh, I certainly do want to get. Uh, Iron Bull on board if I can. Okay. I think uh, just a quick save is in order. And it would appear as though I've got some sort of requisition coming in here. Let's see. It's my interest, you, sir. Give me the report. What is it? It better not be it's decorative gems. While. What are we looking for? We're looking for serpent stone and iron. Okay, good. And I'm definitely on the lookout for, uh, for elf fruit <laughs> right now, you know. My supplies have been completely depleted. So I'll pick it as I come across it. Okay, gazing off down here. Well, I've in fact, uh, this is... This is Iron Bull. He looks like he's uh, he's in need of a little a little assistance. This is the uh, him mean his chargers down here. Okay. Let's have a good look. Uh, I think uh, maybe getting Varric right there. I think what I'd like is for Cassandra to uh, go and deal with this fella, and we'll have Solus. Freeze him up, and then I'm gonna just have Varric go after him. We'll keep keep Herza in here, helping out the charges, helping out Iron Bull. All right, Varric should be in position at this point. All right, he's using his abilities. That's good. He's done. And there's the big bull himself coming in. Swinging the big old two-handed glove or axe or whatever he's got there. I think we're good. Oh my, there's more rolling on in here. Look at this mess. Bring Varric over. Actually, he's in a pretty decent location. Hmm. All right. Make there we go. You. Nice. Quick little skirmish here. Chargers, stand down. Trim, how'd we do? Five or six wounded, chief. No dead. That's what I like to hear. Let the throat cutters finish up, then break out the casks. 
<laughs> Damn, it's true. <laughs> oh, the Chantry must love you. <laughs> a Canari mercenary is the herald of Andraste. Who'd have thought? Shenadan Sten. Oh, let's try to keep that to a minimum. Makes the boys twitchy. I assume you remember Chromisius Aclasi, my lieutenant. Good to see you again. Throat cutters are done, Chief. Already? Have them check again. I don't want any of those Tevinter bastards getting away. No offense, Krem. <laughs> None taken. At least a bastard knows who his mother was. Puts him one up on you, Canari, right? So, you've seen us fight. We're expensive, but we're worth it. <laughs> and I'm sure the Inquisition can afford us. The Chargers seem like an excellent company. They are. But you're not just getting the boys. You're getting me. You need a frontline bodyguard. I'm your man. Whatever it is. Demons? Dragons? The bigger the better. And there's one other thing. Might be useful. Might piss you off. Ever hear of the Ben Hasra? I've never heard of it. It's a Canary order. They handle information, loyalty, security, all of it. Spies, basically. Or, well, we're spies. The Bin Hasrath are concerned about the breach. Magic out of control like that could cause trouble everywhere. I've been ordered to join the Inquisition, get close to the people in charge, and send reports on what's happened. But I also get reports from Ben Hasrath agents all over Orlais. You sign me on, I'll share them with your people. You're a Kunari spy, and you just... told me. Whatever happened at that Conclave thing, it's bad. Someone needs to get that breach closed. So whatever I am, I'm on your side. You still could have hidden what you are. From something called the Inquisition? <laughs> I'd have been tipped sooner or later. Better you hear it right up front from me. And what would you send home in these reports of yours? Enough to keep my superiors happy. Nothing that'll compromise your operations. The Canari want to know if they need to launch an invasion to stop the whole damn world from falling apart. You let me send word of what you're doing, it'll put some minds at ease. That's good for everyone. You run your reports past Leliana before sending them. You send nothing she doesn't approve. If this turns out to be a trick, or if your reports compromise the Inquisition, Cassandra will eat you alive. Wouldn't have it any other way. Krem, tell the men to finish drinking on the road. The Chargers just got hired. What about the casks, Chief? <laughs> we just opened them up with axes. Find some way to seal them. Get boozing, Winter, Winter, right? Try blood magic. We'll meet you back at Haven. Okay. Iron Bull on board. Still going to leave him alone for the time being. Keep my party as it is. We'll send the Chargers. We'll send Bull back to the Haven. And, uh, well, there we have it. He is a spy working for the uh, for, uh, for Canary Order. And uh, well, straightforward with us right out, right, off, right out of the gate, you know. Right off the get-go. Uh, he is, like, I, I find him, I have used him uh, in the party. He is invaluable as a tank, you know. He really is. So, he's going to be, it's going to be good when we get him running. Still, for the time being, I'm going to stick with what, uh, what I've been using. Okay, now it says, oh, that's quite nice too. Not only am I getting the level up here with Herza, I'm also going to be able to don some new gear with her, which is, which I, I'm looking forward to. Okay, with the one point available, what should I spend it on? Um... Okay, I got the basic Winner's Grasp. What is this spell called again? I'm really, I just, I, I Chain Lightning. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's go back to the fire side of things. I guess I will grab one of these passive abilities at this point. The Pyromancer, what is it? You have mastered the summoning of fire, increasing your effectiveness when banicking or burning enemies. Okay. 
the burning duration bonus goes up to, uh, by 25%. The fear as well, 25%. What is this? Clean burn. Your spells burn away ambient magic that would otherwise slow down your casting. Every spell you cast shortens your active cooldown times. That's not too bad. Where's the uh, wall of fire? Uh, I better go with the clean burn then. That's clearly what I'm seeking. You know, Although the traps, uh, the fire mines, I guess what they're called, will be uh, quite beneficial as well, I'm sure. Okay. That's done. And uh, in we go. And uh, armor. Time to armor up. The superior enchanter coat. Oh, that's quite. That's just a big step up, look wise, from what uh, what she's been <laughs> what she's been donning up until now. You know, that's fantastic. And I'll be looking for some nice face paint to go along with it. Although that really does blend well. I'm not a big fan of the uh, the five o'clock shadow portion of it, but uh, that's fine. It's fine. There we go. And looking at the bonus, I mean, that's up. What is that up? Thirty four points for armor. And what else? Um, we got some electrical resistance in there. Some spirit resistance as well. Nice. Loving it. And there we go. Styling, my dear. Styling. All right. Uh, into the journal we go. Let's have a look and see what's on the the to-do list here at Storm Storm Coast. Um. Okay. Cleaning house and wardens of the coast. Let's, uh, okay, that's, that's set to active. What I want to do is I want to get to the map first. Okay, so they're, oh yes, they are being highlighted, okay. Alright, we'll head to the journal here for a second. We'll go back to the map. Oh, this is really close by. I've got a couple of rifts in the area. I did bypass the ocularum that I knew was atop the hill uh, to get down here, you know, try and help out the chargers, help out Iron Bull. To keep them alive long enough to join the Inquisition. Um, I think we'll keep cleaning house up on the map for the time being. There, of course, is the ocularum. You know what? I will. I will move up there. We'll have a good look at it. At least get the shards up. You know. Can I even make this climb? Probably not. Ah, screw it. Screw it. We'll just push forward for the mission. And I don't think it ever stops raining here. You know, <laughs> the storm close. The storm coast certainly does uh, deserve the title it's been given. Now it may. The, the storm may pass. I can't really remember. I did spend a little bit of time here. We've got some rubble up here. Not seeing anything of great interest. There we go. You can see what we're moving for by the looks of things. Some sort of burned out house up there. I guess we'll just continue our climb. <laughs> Beware of fallen rocks. Alright. I'll keep my eyes peeled. I'll keep my eyes sky high. Okay, now, actually, I'm curious, I want I just want to read this mission one more time here. Inquisition soldiers were dispatched to meet with a group of bandits operating on the Storm Coast. Perhaps, you know, trying to make allies, or, or trying to gain uh, friends with, or, or trying to make friends with them, you know. Uh, the Inquisition lost contact with its soldiers before their planned rendezvous with the bandits, so... I don't know if I want to, uh, if, if I do come across some bandits in the area, if I want to necessarily take the initiative... And, and attack outright, you know. Maybe I should hear what they have to say. Although, here we go. What is this now? I'll tell you, that's making me a little nervous. It looks like an armored Mabari. Those must be the bandits Harding mentioned. Are we doing battle? I guess so. Here it comes. Hussarian how? Freeze it up one more time, and there we go. Done. <laughs> Varric taking credit for it. I don't know, sir. I don't know if you got the death blow in there. You may have gotten the death blow, but the rest of us certainly did the work.
All right, I can see a bandit right there. I'm gonna get everybody waiting here for a second. Am I to do battle with these suckers? It would appear so. Let's see here. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get Cassandra waiting right here. I'll get the mages kinda work in the woods. What's taking you so long, Cassandra? Get rolling, please. Um... I'm gonna Solus here for a second. Let me get, uh... <laughs> Let's... I sk you can see that we've got an archer right there. I think uh, getting the Wall of Ice up right there could be good. Could be good. All right, now let's see. I want to go over to Cassandra at this point. And uh, let's chain this one into the fight. She's definitely been slowed down. And my, my lovely Herza here. I'll hit him with that. And in fact, let's freeze him right up as well. Oh, no. Loving it. This is uh, working out quite nicely, I have to admit. These damn archers. Oh, come on. There's nothing worse than burning through my, my attack uh, and, and just having it kind of uh, nullified by... Uh, by another friendly attack, you know. And that seems to be the worst, is when I'm trying to grapple somebody in with Cassandra and uh, Solus, or and now in this instance as well, um, Herza, one of them brings in the winner's grasp and freezes them stiff, makes them, uh, <laughs> makes them completely impossible to move. All right. I have to be aware that if I have that walk... Uh, if I'm in the walk stance, that's what was taking Cassandra so long to get into position. And uh, this could have been part of the issue as to why we didn't have a good walk button to begin with. I mean, I don't know. The walk toggle to begin with. It, it seems like it could be problematic at times when getting into battle, you know. Uh, simply because it, it affects it umbrellas over the entire party, right? Anyway. A little sledgehammer action here. That was a good little scrap. I think I really handled myself uh, quite nice. I hope you all enjoyed that. And I hope you all agree. Let's have everybody wait here for a second. And up we go. Get up there, Cassandra. Is there any reason to really go up there? She won't climb. There we go. You know, at the very least, uh, this would have been ideal for... For maybe, uh, you know, <laughs> bringing Sarah or Varric up there to rain down a little death. Oh, I wish I'd known that was there before we did battle. But again, really enjoyed how that played out. Thought it was pretty clean. You can see Cassandra, she's got a full guard right now. You got to put that ice wall into, into effect, you know. But the men were set up well. I, I, I really dig stuff like that, you know, when a plan comes together. And, and when, it, when it happens, you know, with the... With, uh, with, when you can initiate it with relative ease. Murdered. Shit. We should see that their families are notified. Alright, so we've lost our soldiers. We've got a couple of, a couple of chests here to, to search, plus something to read. Uh, we'll take, uh, you know, a couple of things that can be sold. One an outright valuable. The weighted dagger. Good. I've got a map here. 
Let's have a good look. It looks like the bandits are camped further along the beach. Okay, did that actually highlight? Let's see here. Cleaning house, Inquisition soldiers were dispatched to meet with a group of bandits. Yes. Okay, so that's clearly their 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 base of operations or their their current camp that was mentioned, that was discovered, that the location discovered in that map. Okay, bandit notes. Um, these notes were found near murdered Inquisition the soldiers. The paper is not crumpled or torn, as though it were left behind instead of dropped. Really. It's not our place to disagree. They're attempting to set themselves up along the shore, and we have orders. We are the sword, not the hand that wields it. You taught me that. If they're worthy, let them come with the mercy's crest. The blades of Assyrian will listen. So the blades of Assyrian, uh, I'm pretty sure that's those are the bandits, right? Okay, so if I come with the mercy's crest, the blades of Assyrian will listen. You will only get yourself cast out or worse. I'm not sure who that was written to exactly men were murdered by a group called the blades of hesarian it seems there's a way to challenge their leader hesarian's blade is supposed to represent mercy not random slaughter okay let's have a look at the map should i just push forward for it i don't know maybe i should try and track down the uh the Mercy's Crest first. Although it's not really listed anywhere. Cleaning house, I mean, it's just this kind of the same rundown. Find the bandits and deal with them. Advance to the rendezvous point. Optional requisition Mercy's Crest to challenge the bandit leader. Oh, I see, okay. I don't have to find it, I have to fashion one. Deep Stalker Hide and Serpent Stone, okay. Well, we'll put that off until I have those uh, those necessary ingredients. If I can find those necessary ingredients. Uh, I think for the time being, let's see here. If I go back to the journal, I could, uh, I could bring up Wardens of the Coast. We'll go back to the map. And I could, I could attempt to bypass this altogether. Move down the coast, perhaps. That's quite deep, though. I don't know if I want to move that far in. You know, I've got stuff happening over here. We've got a rift over there. Maybe I should try and branch down for this rift. Let's give it a shot. Look at that there. What would the Inquisition do without our stabilizing influence, Master Tethras? <laughs> oh my god. I assume they just start burning things. That does sound like most humans I know. If you gentlemen are quite finished. Now, now, don't get touchy. We're just here to lend you simple humans our help. Before you cause everything to explode. Again. Alright, so we've got a, a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> in the distance, battling some sort of giant. Oh my god. Okay, um, I did grab a, uh, the intense, what was it? The intense death root vitar. Oh, it's this thing. No. Yeah, it's the, ex it's the exact same. Dang it. A little more variety. I've got something down here as well. Bandits. Hesarian bandits? I'm not entirely sure here. Let's go attack him and have a good look. Hesarian blade, yeah. Hesarian archer. All right, I'm gonna have to, gonna have to dispatch this crew here. Hopefully, Varric. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> we'll put him up there. Actually, no. We'll put Varric right there. Hmm. 
What happened up here with Solus getting just getting overrun? Cost me a health potion. God dang. I may be smart to try and find myself a camp. Uh, somewhere where I can where I can pitch camp. Take the cotton, some sort of spindle weed over here. <laughs> I'm curious. Uh, look at the battle playing out over there. It's crazy. Oh no. Let's go to Cassandra and we'll taunt that fella. Got Solus and uh, so both Solus and Varric trying to attack the other guy. There we go. Nice. Is that battle still raging over there? God damn. God damn it is. Take a little cotton. I'm not gonna grab all that spindle weed. Seeker, you're the dragon expert. What do we do now? Don't get killed by either of them. Well, that's some wonderful advice there, Cassandra. Seeker Pentagast. Is that your professional opinion, my dear? Look at this. Oh, she wouldn't hit it. <laughs> so we got a giant against dragon. Intense. Oh no. Oh no. Some enemies have multiple targets. Press tab to cycle through them. Okay. <laughs> I'm a little worried about Cassandra. Get your shield wall up, although I don't really think it's going to do much. Um, we'll head over to Solus's way. I don't know. Maybe get a, like the, the ice wall down between his legs. Maybe that'll freeze him in place. Who knows? Varric to hit him. And uh, I'll go back to Herza. Oh, no. God dang it. Oh, my God. Get in the end. Get on me, giant. There we go. We took down the beast, but the dragon escaped. God dang. Where did it go? <laughs> I barely saw it take off. I can't believe Urza took a boulder to the forehead and got put down. All right. The uh, magnetic staff here. Wow. Got a wrapped staff blade. That, that could be kind of cool. Or staff grip, sorry. Um, Got a little something I can sell. The warden helmets. And uh, some plush Fustian Velvet. Velveteen goodness, yes. Clearly that's going to be a bit rare of a material, I would say. Okay. Alright, I'm, I'm getting a little low on health potions as, as it stands. I don't know if I want to go pushing forward for this rift right yet. Uh, let's take one more look at the map here. Uh, uh, okay, well, I, it looks like I may have to push through the rift to actually get to the camp. Yeah, I'm not really being given much of a choice here. All right, well, get the quick save in. You're quite a bit over here. I think it's all spindle weed, though. Yeah, it certainly is. Now, what am I looking for? I'm looking for serpent stone and like dark stalker hide or something like that. All right, what exactly am I dealing with here? We've got lesser shades. We've got wraiths. And a lesser terror. It's actually, we've got quite a bit over there. Now, I've got a nice uh, nice blockade or a nice barrier right here. I'm not sure how I want to do this. 
take a look at the train. I think this is probably going to be the last fight for the episode, though. We're getting a little short on time. I just want to make sure that if I start this battle, I I'd like to kind of lure them in one by one around the corner, you know. But uh, I don't want to... I I'd like to do battle over here. But my, my, my worry is that I'm going to um, fall out of... Or I'm going to leave or fall out of the rift area, you know. I don't know if that's actually going to do anything to <laughs> to the shade to slow him down as he seems to hover above the above the earth, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Um let's freeze him up. I'll have uh, I want Cassandra. actually her guard is pretty well maxed, so I think just kind of moving in with Cassandra is probably the best choice. I'll set Varric back a ways kind of around the corner here. I don't want them all clustered together. Get him taunted. There we go. One shade down. One shade down. Alright, I don't like what Solus is doing here. This is just foolish, Solus. Please, back it up, sir. Everybody else is chilling, as they were told to do. Except for you. Alright, I better drink a regeneration here. I want to draw the Lesser Terror in at this point, I think. Nice. Alright, and what I'm going to use... I'm going to get Solus to put down a Wall of Ice, because you know that Terror is going to come in here, and I'd like the Shades to be... or sorry, the, uh, the remaining Wraiths to be blocked off, you know, when that uh, Lesser Terror comes teleporting in. All right, we'll get Herza. No, she's used a spell or something. Um, dang it. Oh, the Lesser Terror is... Uh, we made quick work of him. <laughs> Done, just like that. We've still got uh, what appears to be a shade floating around out there. All right, I think I'm going to try and reposition in anticipation of the second wave. Okay. What should I do? Uh, actually, I don't know. I don't know. That may not be a great idea. I like the fact that they're still sitting back there. I'll just use Varric here for the time being. Try and pick off the rest. Because if too many terrors move in... If too many terrors move in on the, uh, the next wave, it could be really problematic being stuck in there, you know? I don't know what hers is doing. That's not what I wanted it to do. Dang. Oh no. Here it comes. Shit's about to hit the fan. Um, let's see if I can get both of them. No. God dang. She's using spells when I don't want her to be using spells. But that's fine. It's better than nothing. It's better than having them not do something, you know? Alright, I think I'm gonna want to pull Varric right, at, right back. Right back there.
Okay, Cassandra's looking pretty good in here. Pretty strong right now. Getting knocked down by something, though. All right, Varric, he is hurt, and we'll get a regeneration on him. And I need to move the troops around a little bit here. Solus does have the ice wall ready. In fact, maybe I, maybe I don't have to move them around. I think I'm probably going to be pretty good here now. I'll get, I definitely need to get Hers out of there, though. Okay, I think that's good. Alright. You know, I never even thought I, I may have been able to, from behind that little, uh, that little bit of stone that, that, that I was using as a barricade, I could have perhaps gotten Herza top that sucker and uh, been hitting up the, uh, the rift. I didn't realize it was quite so close to our position. You know, because that would have certainly been effective on that second wave. What with the, uh, the, the, well, the double trouble of those two lesser terrors that came around the corner and started messing with the crew. And of course, those lesser shades followed them up and they you know when you get the terrors and the shades in there same time in a compact area you know yeah it can be trouble it can spell trouble really quickly anyway I got some lightning essence I would imagine the lightning essence uh, would be a kind of a base ingredient to create a uh, like a lightning rune right so that's a nice find plus I got a, a ring for I think probably a rogue one of the rogue abilities uh, at this point, though, I need to wrap it. We're running probably about 5 or 10 minutes, a little longer than I wanted to. Appreciate y'all stopping by, as always. I hope you're enjoying the action. Out here on the Storm Coast, we saw a dragon, our first one of the game that we've encountered. Didn't actually get to do battle with it, but we did uh, get to, <laughs> you know, got to scrap a giant and had a good little rift fight there. And the bandit, the bandit battle was probably my favorite of the three, as it was just quite clean, done quite well. And I always like it when it's like that, you know. Okay, all. I uh, appreciate you stopping by. I hope to see you in the next one when it rolls on out. As always, until then, you must remember why it hurts. Yes. Whatever that means. Later.